Hello and good evening. I am Shurujit De and you are watching my YouTube channel Econometrix De. Today we are going to study chapter 15 Perimeter and Area of class 6 and we are going to solve today exercise 15.2. So without wasting further time let's start the class. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> now students, this is a continuation chapter, exercise 15.2. Okay. So today we are going to solve question number 5. Find the length L or breadth B for the given rectangles. That means you have to find out either length or breadth. Okay. And what is given to us? Number A, 5A, area is equal to 306, that is 306 square centimeter and L is equal to 34 centimeter. That means length is given and area is given. So, what is left? Breadth. We have to find out the breadth. So, let us start. Uh, answer 5A. Okay, so area is given. So area of rectangle. So area of rectangle equal to three zero six centimeter square. I prefer centimeter square. If you don't want to write, you can write square centimeter also. Okay, now L equal to thirty four centimeter. Okay, so therefore I'm going to find out breadth. Breadth equal to, and the formula is area divided by length. Clear no? Now, you will be thinking how we got this formula, sir. So, I will show you that also. Okay. See, length into breadth equal to area, area of a rectangle. So, if you want to find out length, then keep length on this side and transfer the breadth on that side. So, if breadth goes into B will become divided by B. Clear no? And if you want to find out breadth B, then area and you will transfer that side the length. So, into length will become divided by length. Okay. So, for this sum, we will use this formula. For another sum, that time we can use this formula. Clear? Now, we will put the value. So, 306 centimeter square divided by 34 centimeter. Clear? Now, centimeter and the square cuts. Okay. Now, we will divide this one 306 divided by 34. Now, 34 tens are 340. So, you have to understand that 34, let us see with 9 it is how much? 9 fours are 36. 9 threes are 27 plus 3, 30. See, 306 coming. Clear no? So, 34 ones are 34 nines are. So, you got 9 centimeter and this one is the answer. Clear? Now, if you think that, uh, sir, uh, this is becoming difficult for us. So, what you can do? You can write 306 by 34 and now you can divide it by 2. So, let us divide 2, 2 ones are 2, 1 carry, 2 sevens are 14. Again here, 2 ones are 2, 1 carry, 2 5s are 10, 2 3s are 6. Now comes 17 downside. So, 153 divided by 17. Now, 17 10s are 170. So, it is 153. So, let us see because uh, 17 you cannot break. It is a prime number. So, let us see 17 9s are how much? Okay. 9 7s are 63. 6 carry. 9 1s are 9 plus 6, 15. So, what you get? 9s are. Okay, 153. So, 17 nines. So, you are getting 9 centimeter. So, in this way also you can do it. Okay. Now, we will move on to the next sum. Now, let us see in question number 5b what they are asking us. Area equal to 98 square meter and B equal to 7 meter. So, let us solve answer. Okay. 5 B. Okay. Area 
equal to 98 square meter meter square and b equal to 7 meter clear and then see area given breadth given so you have to find out the length so therefore l equal to area divided by breadth and what we will write we will put the values 98 meter square and breadth is 7 meter clear like this way now meter a square cuts 7 ones are 7 7 ones are 2 remainder 28 7 fours are so what you get 14 meter and this is the answer clear or no? now we will move on to the next sum that is 5 c now let us see what information they have given us area equal to 300 square meter and l equal to 12 meter so if i want to solve answer okay number c 5 c so area of rectangle you can write area of rectangle also okay equal to 300 meter square and l is what 12 meter so area given and length given so what is left to find out the breadth okay so therefore b equal to area divided by length so area is what 300 meter square and l is what 12 meter so meter and square cuts clear no? now we will cut this one okay so what you can do directly also you can cut it or you can do step by step like suppose if i do step by step 2 6 are 12 okay 2 ones are 2 1 carry 10 2 fives are 10 then 0 then again 150 meter by 6 now you can again do 2 threes are 6 2 how much are 7 are 14 1 carry 2 fives are 10 so what do you get 75 by 3 meter again you can cut 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 1 okay 3 fives are 15 so what do you get 25 meter and this is the answer this one you did step by step okay means uh, dividing the thing with small small numbers okay now you can do directly also okay those who can do directly you can do directly so meter square i am showing you uh, so 12 meter so meter meter cancels now 12 ones are 12 12 to the 24 so what is left 6 left 60 12 fives are 60 so from here also you can get 25 meter clear now we will move on to the next sum now question number 5 d area equal to 1008 square meter and b equal to 16 meter that means breadth equal to 16 meter and area is 1008 square meter okay so we have to find out what we have to find out length so let us start answer okay number d area equal to 1008 meter square and b equal to how much 16 meter so therefore i have to find out length l equal to what area divided by b clear now area is how much 1008 meter square and breadth is how much 16 meter so meter and square cuts clear no now i will divide this one so what we will do 8 twos are 16 8 ones are 8 2 left 20 so 8 twos are 16 how much left 4 left so 8 6 are 48 again i can cut 2 ones are 2 2 6 are 12 2 3 is a 6 so what you get 63 meter and this is the answer clear so i think question number 5 a b c d you have understood nicely now you have to practice okay two three times if you practice it's over you can do it in the exam also okay now we will move on to the next sum now question number six 
the area of a 60 meter long rectangular garden is 300 square meter. Find the width of the garden. Now, this question if I want to break it. So, first you can see here 60 meter. Okay. So, the area of a 60 meter long rectangular garden. So, one garden is there which is how much meter long? 60 meter. That means, what is given to us? The length. Okay. So, if I start solving answer. Okay. So, L is given equal to 60 meter. Okay. L means L of the rectangular garden. Okay. Now, if I do not read this portion, suppose if I omit this portion, okay, the 60 meter if I do not read, then how we will read? The area of a long rectangular garden is 300 square meter, clear or no? So, that means the area is also given to us. So, area equal to area of rectangular rectangular garden. So, how much it is 300 meter square. So, it is same or exact like the previous sum only. Okay. Now, therefore, we have to find out what? Let us see. Find the width. Now, what is the meaning of width? Width means only breadth. Okay. So, if I write here, width means breadth only. So, I have to find out the breadth. Clear no? So, what I will write? Width of the garden, width of the garden. So, it will be the formula will be what? Area divided by the length. Clear no? Area of what? Rectangular garden divided by what? Length of the rectangular garden. So, now we will put the values 300 meter square divided by how much? 60 meter. So, up to this much you have understood. Now, students, if you like my channel, then please give a like, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe it and also press the all notification bell so that whenever I upload such videos, you will get the notifications first. Now, let us come back to the sum. So, meter and square cuts. Okay. Now, 0, 0 cuts. So, 30 divided by 6. So, what I will do? 6 1s are 6, 6 5s are 30. So, what I get? 5 meter and this is the answer. Clear no? So, in this part, we have finished 5, question number 5 and question number 6. So, you keep on practicing and students those who have not watched the previous parts you can watch it i have shared the link in the description box below as well as in the i button okay now thank you for watching my video keep smiling take care bye bye